Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osterberg501 and today I want to show you guys a one-shot Moe's build using some of the new legendary items from DLC1. Now this build is able to one-shot a lot of the bosses that do not have immunity phases. A legitimate one-shot rocket launcher shot for those bosses. You're able to one-shot most of the mobs you'll find in the game. Even a lot of the enemies in the Maliwan raid on Mayhem 4, you're able to one-shot with this build. So it is extremely strong and you do have quite a bit of healing so it is pretty tanky and has some good survivability as well so let's go straight into the talents. So for the talents, we're going to be starting and going to the bottom of the Demolition Woman tree because of the weapon we are using. We are using the Iron Cannon, so a massive base damage has some really good synergies with the Capstone talent of Demolition Woman. First, we're going Fire in the Skagdon. Whenever you deal splash damage, you deal bonus incinerary damage. It's a massive damage increase for a rocket launcher and grenade build. Then we have three enemies of destruction which we need to splash damage, you have a chance to gain ammo and grenades back. Now we have six, and this is pretty important to making sure you never fully run out of rocket launcher ammo or grenade ammo, and three of these are from our class mod, which we'll go over in the gear. Then we have five in a total cross promotion. Um, when you do splash damage, it has a chance to double in size. This helps with grenades quite a bit, because these grenades throw out a ton of different grenades and they all explode then with a rocket launcher when this happens especially when you're mobbing it will just hit a much bigger area and be able to kill a lot more enemies with a single shot then we have pull the holy pin which lets your grenades all have a chance to crit which does synergize with a bunch of other talents just gives you some pretty big damage increases then we have one in the auto bear now the main reason i do this is because auto bear when you're using explosive weapons with your auto bear, it also can proc means of destruction for you, which helps you keep your ammo up a lot, especially um, since it pretty much has the same chance you do with means of destruction. Sometimes it'll just give you like a ton of grenades back right away, which is really nice. Um, then we have Vampire, which your grenades pretty much can heal you. Um, with the specific grenade we're using, it is really good at procking Vampire, so sometimes you can just get a full heal off one grenade which is very important because this is pretty much our only healing our only big survivability talent then we have five into explosive punctuation when you do splash damage your actual school cooldown rate is briefly increased um which will pretty much be up all the time this is one of our main um cooldown rate increases so we can get iron bear much more often with that and with the cooldown rate in your bonus stats of guardian rank and with mainly with topped off you're able to have your iron bear up quite a bit then short fuse and this is so massive because this has a 20% chance to deal a secondary explosion on your target that deals 75% of your gun damage. Now, this will be proccing off actual hits. So, if you're thinking, if we have an ion cannon and sometimes that can hit 1 to 2 million hits, if you're doing 75% extra of that actual hit... If the thing's not instantly dead, it will be when short fuse procs, and this will be extremely strong on bosses. This is extremely strong if you want to go run through the raid, um, because the raid, you know, will be a bit tankier normally because it's skilled for four people. So this is a spot where it's not going to be overkill most of the time. Because if you're doing something like Slaughter Shaft, all this is on Mayhem 4, by the way. If you're doing something like Slaughter Shaft, if you're just running through like the new DLC stuff. Most of the stuff you're shooting, this is probably going to be overkill for unless it's a boss. Um, so keep that in consideration. If you're doing specific stuff, I could even see you taking this away just because it's so much overkill. But I definitely still like it. Um, next, we're going into Shield Retribution, 5 in Armor and Infantry, Gun Damage, and Damage Reduction when your shields are active. Which is uh, nice. Just some decent buffs. Um, Vladoff, Ingenuity. Um, max shield increase, which is very nice, more tanky. Shock damage resistance, very good as well. Um, one in the drowning base, mainly to get lower in the tree, or just for a last talent point. And it does give a decent damage increase for stacking up three times when mobbing. And the fire rate reduction really doesn't affect this build at all. Experiment munitions, when you crit, you deal bonus incinerary damage. This is very good for our grenades because they can crit. Um, and dealing that bonus incinerary damage is very nice. And then just 10% on top of massive hits from our iron cannon when they crit is also pretty good damage increases. 
then we have bottomless mags we go five in a cloud of lead every four shot doesn't consume ammo and deals extra incinerary damage then we have stroke stoke the embers i don't know why i always say stroke the embers um which is just increase incinerary damage for you and your iron bear which is very nice 30 percent increase which is pretty good because pretty much everything we do in this build does do bonus incinerary damage and then increasing that on top of that is very good so for our gear we're clearly using ion cannon so we'll go over that in a second for the class mod if you get the baby boomer class mod which is a epic class mod so it's purple it's not legendary this is the only class mod that can roll means of destruction and it can only roll up to three means of destruction on it so that's a main thing you're looking for weapon charge speed is super good for iron cannons as well um, but that's a main thing you're looking for on this is three into means of destruction because without that um, you could definitely run out of grenades and rocket launcher ammo because your rocket launcher ammo and your grenades pretty much go back and forth with each other to keep each other um to keep you with ammo in each of them and without the extra three means of destruction you definitely start running out um just because means of destruction after all the fixes in the past or changes isn't really that good with just three out of three anymore now for the shield this is the version o.m which is one of the Maliwan Raid Shields. And what this does is whenever your shield breaks, you get a heal under you, which isn't the reason we use it. The main reason we use this is because this has a amp shield or a amp effect. And when your full shield, it will use 20 or 25%, I don't know which one, of your shield and do an amp shot that's 125% increase, which is absolutely massive, especially with ion cannons with this high of a base damage and then times two the base damage of these weapons is absolutely insane as most of you know by now and getting a massive increase like this especially for killing bosses this is a big reason of why you're able to one shot bosses like i show in the video it is a massive damage increase this is the highest amp you can get on a shield the only other one is 120 percent amp and that takes 50 percent of your shield so this is a massive damage increase you don't need this for mobbing but i still use it just because it does have the bonus crowd damage on it so it's it does have that effect like a lot of other shields which is the main thing i'd be looking for and it's just super good for bosses and anything that you, that amp procs off of you're gonna pretty much one shot um now this this is probably gonna be the hardest part of the build to get is cloning maddening tracker this is the best one and the reason this is so good is besides that it has pretty much the reoccurring effect so it's splits into two then splits into three mervs it bounces it detonates up to three times so all those detonate up to three times and this is super good because all those detonations will proc vampires all those detonations can proc means of destruction so having this is super important this is one of the best grenades in the game but you could still use some other grenades um that explode a lot pretty much is just what you're going to want and this is definitely the best one for most uh, means of destruction builds for proccing that and propping vampire i only have one with the incinerary um anointed on it i wish i could have more but they are somewhat rare now trackers are the only epic grenade from atlas um all the grenades um, that are epic from the different manufacturers are only one grenade so they're all the same name then they just have their own pre different prefixes so it is a it's not that that hard but it is a harder one to get then um, i'm just using an elemental projector victory rush victory rush is super nice for robbing this is just a really really good roll as you can see grenade damage air effect damage and magazine size and the elemental projector part of this um, is good for bosses. You'll see me use it on some of the bosses in the video just because I'm getting that 90% damage increase for being able to one-shot a boss. So that's pretty much it. You don't need the elemental projector for mobbing, but I just keep it on because there's not a ton of other stuff that I would use over this with these rolls. The ion cannons, this is what you're going to want to be going for. Now, I actually don't have really good rolled ion cannons. My one without elemental roll is a decent one but none of these are even close to the best anointed rolls i could get and i've been super unlucky with this as you guys saw in my last video my zane build i had really good rolls really good anointed um with the ion cannons but on my most i just haven't been able to get them 
I've already done a video where you farm this. It's super easy to farm, but it's a guaranteed drop chance on Mayhem 4. So it is pretty easy to farm, but sometimes you just don't get lucky. But pretty much all you want is the highest base damage you can get on one of these with a times 2 and then get whatever anointed you can possibly get. And they're going to be insane. As you can see, without good anointed rolls, I'm still able to one-shot some Mayhem 4 bosses. So they're still incredibly strong no matter what if you're getting that times 2, which is what you're going to be wanting to look out for mainly. And that's pretty much it for this entire build for the gear you're using. Subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands 3 content. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this build. If you guys have any questions about where to get any of these items or anything like that, how the build works, leave it in the comments. I'll try to reply to everybody. And thanks for watching. Tell us how you want the vault to die!